Welcome to this episode of Mother's Apple Seeds. On this episode, we catch up with some staff who are joining us for the first time to give us their thoughts on the Mother Teresa feast day. And we catch up with some of our college's students to find out about their Mother Teresa feast day this year. Hello everybody, we've still got a heap of special guests lined up. Today here we have Miss Truchet. Hello Miss Truchet, how are you today? Good thank you Luke, how are you? Good thank you. We've, I've heard that you've been doing a lot of preparations or something, what's this thing that's coming up? So rumour has it that tomorrow we have a very special day coming up and today is the eve of that special, special day. Tomorrow is our feast day, so a day where we celebrate everything that is Mother Teresa and what makes our school, um, I guess, an honour her. So yeah, feast day is coming up tomorrow. What's your role like? Okay, yeah, so this is my first feast day at Mother Teresa. So I started here at the beginning of the year and I'm a team leader of evangelization and religious education, which means I get to do all the fun ministry stuff um, in the school as well as all the RE curriculum stuff. So tomorrow I have organized some I hope really lovely masses for you all. So we've got three masses tomorrow, one for middle school, one for P to three, and one for four to six, which everyone will be doing um, in the first part of the day. So that's my role in regards to the feast day. I do a lot of other stuff, but I don't think we actually have time to go through all of that in the, in the clip, sorry. Yeah. What are you most looking forward to for our feast day? Um, for me personally, I think I, the, the thing I'm looking forward to most is actually just being involved in my first feast day here at Mother Teresa um, and seeing how it all works and being part of my masses. And I guess for me, the most important part of the day is celebrating mass with all the students um, because that's when we really honour the life of St Mother Teresa um, and we get to remember her. And beautiful that we get to listen to the, the readings that were read at her canonisation mass again. Um, and we just get to spend time as a community. So that's what I'm most looking forward to, but I'm also looking forward to the afternoon. I hear there's going to be lots of sugar and lollies involved, and that, that excites me. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you, Ms. Trisha, for coming. I hope to see you around in another episode of Mother's Thank you. Thank you, Luke. Hello, everybody. My name's Luke Tan, and we're straight here from our Mother Teresa Feast Day today. We pulled off a heap of people, starting with Mr. Banabas. Hello, Mr. Banabas. How are you today? Hello, Luke. I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. Have you seen any thing that's been happening that's I've heard that there's a lot happening. I heard that there's a lot of good things happening, such as a little bit of kick the ball into the bucket. Uh, 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 I've heard there's pancakes and ice cream and maple syrup. Yeah, and there's uh, different things that you can buy in jars. That's where I'm going. Yeah. To the pancake store. Okay. Have they got any drinks? Have they got soft drinks in there? Yeah, I've heard that there's been some pop tops and stuff. Seven point four selling them. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Everything that a person would need to have a good day. What's your favourite bit about this day? <laughs> I think it's the uh, the good nature of the uh, of the students and uh, seeing a lot of people cooperating and uh, getting together for a good fun day. Well, thank you, Mr. Bates. You're welcome. Hope to see you around. Anytime, Luke. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi, this is Olivia Moore, and today we're going to ask her a few questions about this day. Hello, Olivia. So really looking forward to the stalls later today and um, yeah, really excited. Do you have a stall? Yes, our stall will be doing um, icy poles as well as face painting and some um, icing some biscuits. That sounds good. And so I guess that's how you're celebrating. We stay down with the stall. That's it. Now, what is your favourite part? Oh, 
My favourite part of Feast Day is the Mass. I really enjoy the beautiful Mass, how the middle school came together as one to pray and to thank God for the blessings we've had and also to pray for, for ourselves and for others around us. And also I really love how everyone's a little bit more relaxed today and spending a bit more time with their friends and spending quality time at lunchtime. We've got extra lunch and also I'm looking forward to the Feast Day in the stalls. Happy feast day. Thank you. We've just called our training teacher, Miss Eden. Hello, Miss Eden. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. What's your favourite bit about this feast day today so far? It's really good that everyone can all come together. There's little kids running around, parents, staff, students. It's good that everyone can come together and celebrate. Yep, I enjoy that too. Have you seen any good stories or anything? I personally have seen the get a dollar for a jar bowler and I won this. I do like the um, the sponge throw stall. That's a good one. Okay, well, thank you, Miss Eden. It's okay. Hope to see you around. Yeah. Hey, Miss Button. Look at my legs. How are you today? I'm good, thanks. Luke, how are you? Good, thanks. So, what's your favourite thing about our feast day today? I love just walking around and seeing everyone's smiling faces and everyone just having a really good day to celebrate Mother Teresa. Same here, same here. Thank you, Miss Button. Uh, my favourite part of Feast Day is remembering the life of St Mother Teresa and all of the goodness that she brought to the world and trying to remember to bring that into our lives and I love seeing everyone coming together to celebrate such a special person. And how do you celebrate this? Um, well I normally am involved with the liturgical dancers who performed at Mass and they did very well, Bethany was on it. And um, we like to show our prayer through dance, so that was really special. And I think you have a homeroom sometimes. Yes, my homeroom is doing a chocolate toss, so hopefully the younger students will enjoy that. And I can enjoy the fun. They won't enjoy your chocolate toss as much as mine. No, toss. yours will definitely win. Yes. <laughs> Next year our homeroom will have to come by. Thank you, Miss Venice. Have a good feast. Thanks, Beth, you too.